The driver trapped upside down six hours in a creek credits his survival to having a long talk with God. Thanks for joining us. I'm Quinesia Fraser. I'm Bill Shimmer. 27-year-old Dalton Silenica is recovering from a broken neck, fractured back, shoulder, and nose. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki speaks with him from his hospital bed in this exclusive. Seat belts and a Bible. Dalton Solonica keeps both close to his heart when driving. He believes early Tuesday morning both saved his life. I'm thankful that I'm still alive. Solonica was trapped six hours, suspended upside down when he rolled his SUV into a creek, swerving to miss a deer. I could smell gasoline leaking out of the car. I got, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just started screaming. But at 2.30 in the morning, no one could hear him. Severely injured and still belted in, he couldn't move to get his cell phone. The only thing that wasn't sub submerged in water was my head. He began to pray, asking God to let him see his family again, his six-year-old daughter. I just kept designing the Lord's prayer, just some prayers that I made on the side. He felt a presence. Something told me to be patient, and I was patient. And then there was a sign. When I was laying there, there was a dime right in front of my face. His grandfather, who died six years ago, used to lay dimes around for his family to find. To me, that was very powerful that he was there with me. Luckily, Solonica was found when workers at a nearby business heard his cries and called 911. It truly is a miracle, but like God said, it's not my time to go yet. From here on out, what I do in my life now, it has to have meaning to it because I gave you this opportunity. And perhaps another sign, his Bible found nearby overlooking the wreckage. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.